Namaste. Hope you are enjoying the series of the great epic Ramayana. My name is Gayatri, narrating Ramayana for our English-speaking friends. If you like this video, please like, leave a comment and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon below. In these videos, I am following Valmiki Ramayana, adding some additional information from my research. In this 20th episode, we will know about the interesting story of Ahalya. Let us get into the story. After resting near the charming city Vishala for the night, Vishwamitra along with Rama, Lakshmana and other sages continued the journey towards Videha kingdom. It is said that they have travelled on foot from Ayodhya to Mithila covering a total distance of about 400 miles at an average of around 60 miles per day. Finally, they reached the outskirts of the beautiful city Mithila on the evening of the 14th day. There, they came across an old and neglected ashram. When Rama asked Vishwamitra about it, Vishwamitra explained to him thus, This ashram belonged to the Maharishi Gautama. He used to live here with his wife Ahalya and follow ascetic lifestyle. It was said that Ahalya was a very beautiful woman, crafted specially by Lord Brahma himself with utmost care. But she was given in marriage to a much older Gautama. As he is a great sage doing his penance in full vigour at that time, the king of gods Indra, as usual, was scared that he may be aspiring for his throne in near future. So he plotted a plan to make him angry and thus spoil his penance. As per that plan, once when Gautama was not there in the ashram, Indra took his form and went to his ashram and seduced Ahalya. Ahalya also did not object but succumbed to his desire willingly knowing that he was actually Indra. Later when Indra was leaving the ashram stealthily, suddenly Gautama came and saw him. Seeing the guilt-ridden face of Indra, he immediately understood what would have happened and cursed Indra that he would lose his manliness. Then he entered the ashram and cursed Ahalya also that she will turn into a rock and has to do penance without food and water for a long time to get rid of the sin. She immediately turned into a stone. But feeling sorry about her situation, Gautam Maharshi gave her a concession that she will regain her form and take back her status as his wife when Rama will visit her in distant future. After that, Gautama left to continue his penance in Himalayas. Meanwhile, Indra went to the other gods and told what has happened and confirmed that he was successful in fulfilling his plan. Gods then had found a solution through ancestral devatas and restored the manliness of Indra. After telling this, Vishwamitra told Rama to enter Gautama's ashram. As soon as Rama put his foot inside the ashram, Ahalya regained her original form, shining with a bright radiance because of her strict penance. Rama and Lakshmana paid her their respects by touching her feet. Maharishi Gautama reached there at that time and accepted her as his wife. Both wife and husband paid their respects to Rama and Lakshmana along with Vishwamitra. Taking their leave, Vishwamitra and the whole group left from there and entered the city Mithila. When they reached the sacred place where the Ajna was being conducted, they saw that thousands of Brahmins from around the world assembled there. Seeing so many Brahmanas and the activity there, Rama felt very happy. Having heard about the arrival of Vishwamitra, King Janaka immediately came to welcome them and exchanged pleasantries. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to know more about what happened later in Midhilanagar in our next episode. Sarvejana Sukhino Bhavantu